Today, we're gonna get to see a Philly pizza delivery guy get his kung fu on. Hi everyone, welcome to the Active Cell Protection Channel. I am grateful you're here for today's lesson. I'm your host, John Correa, like I told you, today's really kind of funny video comes to us from Philadelphia. Today's video was brought to us by Mantis. The Mantis family of products is integral to ASP staff building handgun and carbine skills and are your most economical and fastest path to improvement in your skills too. Whether you choose the X10, the Laser Academy, the Blackbeard, or use them all in concert, they will help your practice be more effective, efficient, and fun. Go check them out, pick up a unit, and thank them for sponsoring today's video. This dude is delivering some pizza and wings when he is going to see a police pursuit in progress down this street. Let's listen into the audio. Oh! Oh, shit! Oh, that's a high-speed chase. Yeah. That's a high-speed chase. Yeah, you, yeah, you better not hit my fucking car, dude. Oh my god, Jaeger! Oh my god, Jaeger! There's a high-speed chase on the way! No! I'm trying to quit something! Oh, yeah. You're fucking idiot! No! I'm trying to quit something! Oh, yeah. You're fucking idiot! Get the fuck on the ground! Fucking idiot! Get the fuck on the ground! Fucking idiot! Turns out this was a stolen car being driven by a 17-year-old that uh, they did take into custody and then he is facing a number of charges. Our hero pizza delivery driver was actually offered a job by this police department. He turned it down, said he would rather deliver pizzas. He did get shout outs from the pizza delivery place and from the PD. Question for you, would you get involved here? Is this something that you're like, hey, I would get involved in something like this and get my Kung Fu on? Or is it like, hey man, the cops are chasing that guy. I don't want nothing to do with it. Let me know what your thoughts are. A couple things at the very beginning here. First of all, I would generally say when you see the police at work, especially a pursuit or something like that, get out of their way. Just give them as much space as you can. Get inside if you can. Get out of any problems that you can. Secondarily though, you know, some people are high responders and some people are low responders. And if you are a high responder, I really want you to think through, what am I willing to step into here? What, what kind of ideas and what kind of situations am I going to become a part of? Because if you're just a, a, a big time go high responder and you're like, man, I'm going to get involved. Well, there's danger there, right? That, that, that's a danger to yourself physically, it could be a danger to you financially, then if you have a family, they have to think about that as well. I'm not telling you not to get involved here. Every person has to make that decision for themselves. I am telling you to think about it in advance and set your boundaries so that you're not sitting here holding a pizza box going, you know, should I get involved in this thing or not? You already know whether or not it meets your criteria. Make that principle based and go from there. Now, he sees this, you know, uh, really relatively slow speed police pursuit kind of coming through the neighborhood and, and, you know, the person that wants a pizza, whatever. He says in the interview that they did with him, it's linked in the description that, hey, I hadn't delivered the pizzas yet. I didn't have the money for those yet, so I couldn't drop those. And, and so I had to make sure that I kept my pizza and kept it right so that I could deliver it. Well, friend, here's the real honest truth here. This dude jumps out. You're going to decide you need to intervene. You need both your hands and your feet. You don't know what that guy has on him. And so the answer here is to drop the pizza. Now, I get it that he's like, oh, no, wait a minute. I don't want to do that because it's valuable. And that's very common in defensive situations. Whether that's your cell phone or pizzas or a computer bag or whatever, we tend to not drop what's in our hands. That's to our detriment as self-defenders. When you need to defend yourself, Drop what is in your hands so that that way you have your hands and your feet available. He didn't do that. So either he could have pelted this guy with the pie or he could use his feet. And what he decides to do is he decides to use his feet. It's a perfectly valid way to defend yourself and to stop him, okay? He steps in there to do that. And we actually see this relatively commonly, actually. I mean, I've seen this several times uh, in the news where people, you know, stop somebody who's running by by tripping them. Okay, it can be a very effective means. I, I would just encourage you, if you're gonna try to do some kung fu moves like this, you better have some kung fu and you better have some backup kung fu and you better have kind of recognized and seen that this guy doesn't have any weapons in his hand. Because if this guy does have weapons and you decide to step in, he could very well turn them on you. So again, just kind of think through those issues here. And of course, that gives the PD, they probably would have caught this punk anyways, but it gives them a chance to come and get him and get him fairly quickly. I just want to stop here for a minute and just say right here, this is the frame. You know those uh, movies where you, you get the beginning and you get that record scratch? Uh -huh. 
it was at this very moment that Tyler knew that he had messed up. And that's just funny. That's the bottom line here is he is going for a full gainer. Now, I want you to recognize you knock somebody over like this and, and you probably will cause them some injury. Uh, now, is it justified for you to do that? Should be. Should you face any, you know, civil liability for that? No, I don't necessarily think so. You're stopping somebody that you know is in the commission of a crime. It probably not going to be a big deal. You're assisting police in their official duties. But, you know, some people might bring that up. So I don't really think that's as big a deal as we think it is. Then I do like the fact that after he did that, he did get the heck away from there. I will say you want to make sure that the police know that you're the good person here. So you just see a guy running like this. You don't see weapons in his hands. Or anything like that, I wouldn't draw a gun. I wouldn't do any of those things. Might you OC spray a guy because he's a physical threat as he's running? Maybe, I don't know. But I certainly wouldn't draw a gun unless you see a weapon and, and you know that you are at risk of death or great bodily harm because the cops might mistake you as a problem that they have to deal with in terms of a deadly threat. I think this guy did a great job. Go watch the interview with him. It's pretty funny. It's pretty short. Link is in the description. I'd say he covered his ass.